What up, thugs? Welcome back to Red Resales. I'm Natalie and I'm a full time reseller, meaning I go to a console thrifting stores, yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, you name it, and I flip items online for a profit. In today's video, I have the most amazing huge haul from Goodwill two days in a row. Like, I went there two days straight and I just kept finding new stuff, new stuff, new stuff, new stuff. So, if this is some content that you're interested in watching, go ahead, click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And let's just get into the video. Good All right, so I found this Tommy Bahama 1 4th zip up women's and it was a gorgeous color in size large, which I checked on eBay and it has an over 100% sell through rate and we should get about 20 to $25. So I chose to pick this one up. I did also find another Tommy Bahama because uh, it was different, but I ended up not picking that one up and I'll show you why in a little bit. This one is... Uh, a good bowler brand to be in a lookout for and i'll show you the south rate so check this out here's just grunt style hoodie and in pre-owned condition you see i clicked it right there there's 33 available active listings you hit sold items 128 items sold so looking at these comps i'm assuming we're gonna get about 25 dollars I actually just learned about Grunt Style recently, so I was pretty pleased that I found an item after learning it. And here is a Speedo like teddy fleece, but terrible comps and sell through rate, so I put that one back. Check out what was just waiting for me in the rack. Tommy Hilfiger fleece in a gorgeous like blue stripe design with these snap-on buttons there. Embroidered front, just absolutely gorgeous. I was like, mmm yeah so we are picky with tiny heel figure but this one was just a definite definite pickup so with white definitely check the pits this one i don't know if you can see it on the camera but it has pit stains and so i just put it back not picking that up then i found a pair of manchester united like jogger sweatpants uh every manchester united Pants we've ever found, I think maybe just two. They've sold really fast for about $25. So this was just a, an automatic pickup. Also found this pair of Adidas track pants with the gold stripes and the logo, which we've never found before. We have sold this exact model and it sells about $25. So an automatic pickup as well. You guys know how we love pants. All right, so we got six items, uh, one personal eagle's hat and we paid a total of $23.94 okay day two of coming back to the same goodwill store so this day was absolutely nuts they kept coming out with new rags and i had a whole cart full i can't wait to show you guys this was a penguin 100 percent lamb's wool sweater turns out it's not worth anything so i put that one back uh i didn't know at the time so i put it in the cart but i ended up putting that one back so here is the rest of my cart right now i thought i recognized this brand topeka topeka so i was going to look that one up it was not worth anything and then i have found this champion boston college zip up hoodie uh, just another school, so I, I decided to pick that one up. I have a really cool find right here. You'll see it soon. Boom, swoosh. Hello, Nike. Can't really go wrong with a Nike hoodie, to be honest. Okay, fun story. I was just standing by the hoodie section and just looking through clothes. And this lady who was working there and was putting back stuff, she just handed me this Nike swoosh hoodie that I gladly accepted. Look at that, super clean with the swoosh. It's got the white and black tag, extra large, great size. And that's the thing when you kind of become like a regular at Goodwill, they start to see what you pick up. And if you're just a nice person and they're a nice person, I guess, they might just hook you up by just handing over good stuff. Alrighty, moving on, I found this really cool Boss Hugo Boss zip up sweatshirts. So my knowledge about Hugo Boss 
was little to none. I knew it was like a a more higher end brand, obviously, but I didn't know there's so many layers to it. Now these zip up sweatshirts or whatever are just so freaking nice. I love the colors. They're very different. I have not been able to find the identical ones online, which can be a good thing because I found like plain ones selling for about $30. But these are different with the colors. So I'm expecting we can get a lot more. I'm hoping to get between $50 and $70 each. So we'll see. But look at this. It's got the green tag. So um, before Boss, Hugo Boss, was divided into three categories. It was the green label, which is athleisure. Then it was the orange label, which I believe was casual. And then they had the black label, which was like business. So I decided to pick those up. Then I found this DC Shoes hoodie, but I ended up not picking it up uh, as they're not selling too well. And here is a pretty cool Polo by Ralph Lauren fleece one fourth zip up. And I actually ended up finding a red one as well. Okay, but how cool is this? I love the kind of like school vibe, vintage, gorgeous green color. But what is this hole? There's multiple holes and uh, that's so annoying. Look at my cart right now. It is Full. There was so much stuff both in the new rags and just hanging on the regular rags. They are overflowing with clothes right now. Oh my god, I just found this Carhartt Sherpa line jacket hanging on the put back rack. Like what? Alrighty, I had to show this one. Of course, the Sherpa Carhartt Sherpa line Carhartt work jacket. Take a look. It is in stupidly excellent condition, as in barely worn. Absolutely insane. The south through it, insane. Um, I just looked up the south through it and now I just completely am blanking, but it, I think it was about a 300% south through it or more. And this is a great color. It's like a dark brown with the Sherpa line on the inside and i'm expecting to get about 80 dollars for it and we paid 5.99 so always go and just quickly glance through the rack that people put clothes back from trying on because you never know and i'm so excited okay more stuff air jordan vintage free people okay i just wanted to quickly just show this one okay it's gonna be hard to show it because it's like it's it's a cardigan wrap up or whatever like it wraps around your body and it's cropped and it's got the strings to make a bow and it looks terrible right now but it's actually kind of cute and it is so soft like so 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 soft it's amazing so i seen the tag and it said fp so look at this tag fp beach made in usa by the way i don't know if you can see that made in usa I think this is going to be a posh sale, so I'm excited to get it up. I don't really know what to price it at, so I'll have to do some more research, but maybe $40. Here we have a pair of Playboy by Paxson sweatpants. Here's a North Face fleece. Uh, it does have some pilling, but that's what the pilling machine is for. Here's a Nui Tags Princess Polly skirt. Super cute. Might actually keep this one for myself. Okay, so it turns out that the North Face fleece we just looked at, not only does it have pilling, it also has this stain, like a paint mark or something that won't come off. So, ugh. Okay, we have had great luck with selling Under Armour camel hoodies that have the fleece lined inside. So definitely a good pickup here. And just wanted to give an extra little overview of our Boss Hugo Boss zip up sweatshirts here. They're honestly in such great condition and I just love these colors. Okay, I just got a bunch of stuff and paid a total of $78.64 and the whole cart is literally half full. <laughs> I was gonna say full, but half full. Personal shoes because uh, what's another pair? But yeah, I am so freaking excited. Like what? I've been here two days in a row and more fire 
so yeah that is all i got for you guys today we are getting our gopro literally in a couple of days so it's going to be way easier to film inside a store or when i'm at yard sales because it's a bit tough to like pick up your phone and then film and then you have one hand to go through stuff with so it is a bit tricky and also you you missed a lot of things because you don't have your phone up at all times so there were a lot of um brands items that i went through that i couldn't show because it's just too much time to put it up and down put it up and down the phone i mean so it's gonna get better hopefully now that goodwill that we go to do tend to play loud music which i can't show in a youtube video which is why i have to cut the sound off and then do a voiceover otherwise they're gonna be like eh, blah, blah, blah. copyright issues blah 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 but yeah that's all i got for you guys today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time